My name is Guru San Singh. I'm here today specifically to talk to all those people who may be considering taking Kundalini Yoga or may be already part of the Yogi Bhajan Kundalini Yoga group. I was with Yogi Bhajan around him almost every day for 30 years. And I was part of this 3HO organization as well. So I can attest that as this article in the Eugene Register Guard talks about, Yogi Bhajan was all about just making money. He abused people and he wanted to only promote his luxurious lifestyle. Let's take the first example of Yogi Bhajan's frauds. This is a recent academic study that was done by Philip Gillespie. He interviewed many ex-Yogi Bhajan followers and did a lot of research about the origins of Yogi Bhajan's Kundalini Yoga. And he found in his study, in his academic study, that Yogi Bhajan basically made up most of the exercises in Kriya. Yogi Bhajan fraudulently told all of us that these were ancient yoga secrets that he was bringing to the West, etc., etc. It was a very clever spin and fraudulent deceit on Yogi Bhajan's part to say that these, all these Kundalini Yoga exercises were part of the Sikh religion and that these were ancient secrets that were passed down so that people could attain liberation. Well, I'm here today to tell you that this lie that Yogi Bhajan put forth is the truth. Now, this, this study is a must-read for all those who are thinking about taking Kundalini Yoga or are already taking Kundalini Yoga. It's available on the internet now for free, this academic study, and I'll put a link to it in the description to this video. And again, this is by Philip Gillespie, academic study. So let's go through some of these pictures that I've accumulated over the years of Yogi Bhajan, which show that he and his organization are nothing but a front for making money. First of all, you can see how Yogi Bhajan lived this luxurious lifestyle. He wore huge gems and jewelry, fur coats, killing poor animals that were unlucky enough to be used by him by his, by his fur coat. If any of you have taken these teacher training courses, you'll know that the 3HO people charge thousands of dollars. I think that the cost for these teacher training courses is 3,000, over $3,000 for this. And then what they do is they give you, they give you teacher training one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. And then what they do is they tell you, okay, you go out and you teach the people the same thing. And these were nothing but made up kriyas and exercises that Yogi Bhajan made up. And from my experience, all it did, all these exercises did, was to get you hyped up in this breath of fire um, and have this like kundalini crack, as I call it, um, high. And you can get the same kind of feeling by going out and running or exercising, that type of thing. So all of these exercises were only made up by Yogi Bhajan and so that he could make all this money. You can see him here with his uh, right-hand man here, this Hari Jeevan, who I had a lot of experience with. And he was eventually charged by the FTC, this Hari Jeevan, the Federal Trade Commission in what they called a, uh, a scheme, a 
field of schemes, they called it. And he did telephone sales. We all did the telephone sales. And he was eventually, like I said, charged by the Federal Trade Commission. So Yogi Bhajan told us all that there was no karma on the phone, that we, should, we could just do these sales and, and uh, make this money from selling jewelry to old people, basically, who were susceptible to this type of thing. Anyway, again, you can see him with these expensive watches and jewelry. Here is an article by this Hari Jeevan about uh, gems and prosperity. So they package all these things. You buy the gems, you're, then you're, prosper, you're prosperous. And it's a, it's, a, it's a scheme, is what it is, to get people to buy this jewelry from Hari Jeevan. He sells these tantric necklaces now. And it says here, Hari Jeevan was at the side of Yogi Bhajan Yoga every day for 30 years. And this is, this is true. He sends out, Hari Jeevan sends out these letters all the time now. And I had a lot of experience with this guy. He's nothing but a scam artist. There's another Hari Jeevan, by the way, too, who I also was involved in business. You can't call it really business, but it was, these were these schemes. And so, um, again, this shows how the Yogi Bhajan people are interested in nothing but money. Here they, they sell spiritual names. You can see here it asks at the end of the, at this um, website for getting a spiritual name. It says, what donation do you want to make? 108, 54. <laughs> so they want you always to make donations. This 3HL. It's all about making money. Here again is this Hari Jeevan and, and Yogi Bhajan up there at this Jerry's Jewelry in Beverly Hills. We used to go up there. I was on security all the time with um, Yogi Bhajan. So I, I witnessed that he would go to Beverly Hills, to La Scala restaurants, to fancy jewelry stores every single day with a entourage, Rolls Royces, Mercedes. I talk about this in my book, Confessions of an American Sikh, by the way, that um, is available on Amazon. Uh, I'm not trying to sell my book here, but I think it's a very good way for people to find out about the true motivations and history of Yogi Bhajan. It's only 99 cents, the Kendall edition. And if anybody feels like they just don't want to pay 99 cents, then write me. Uh, my email address is in the description below, and I will send you a free copy, PDF copy. I just want to get the word out so people aren't taken by this Yogi Bhajan and 3HO group. Here you can see the Yogi Bhajan followers prostrating themselves at Yogi Bhajan's death place. It's really awful how they've, they've surrendered their self-respect. They've surrendered their souls to Yogi Bhajan. They believe that he is, that even in death, they believe that he is um, with them and that they're guiding them. I just saw this YouTube video about Scientology. And it's the same type of thing with these cults, this cult around this Hubbard guy who founded Scientology, they believe that he's just ascended to a different planet. Well, it's the same thing with these Yogi Bhajan followers. They believe Yogi Bhajan um, is with them even, as Yogi Bhajan said, he said, I'll be with you even after death, even more powerfully. Here they are again, prostrating themselves at Yogi Bhajan's death place. They're in Espanol in New Mexico. And you know, don't take my word for this. Go visit yourself and see, this will be the 10th anniversary in October of Yogi Bhajan's death. And you can see how these Yogi Bhajan people worship Yogi Bhajan and how they are just interested to take your money so that they can support their magical thinking and their thinking of being irresponsible and not living an honest life. 
I, like I said, I was part of it for 30 years. And I know that all, their agenda is just to get you into their organization and to get your money. This was a scheme they did where they were selling Yogi Bhajan, piece of Yogi Bhajan's robes, <laughs> kind of like the Catholics in the Middle Ages, where they were selling these relics of Yogi Bhajan. They were selling them in a locket like this. And here you can see here on uh, 2011, they promoted this whole magical thinking thing and Rishikesh, how they uh, had this Kundalini Yoga music festival charged thousands of dollars. It was just disgusting. I got emails from people who said that it was just um, when people that um, went there, some people that went there just said that it was just, you know, it was poor accommodations. They were just, uh, did these yoga exercises and, and uh, the same yoga exercises you can get by just doing them on your own and, or getting them out of a book. It's nothing special, but they promoted it as being, oh, if you come to this 11, 11, 11, you'll be filled with this uh, magical spiritual energy, such. Ask these people who went to this if they are liberated now. That's been three years now. I haven't seen anybody that's been liberated. And even the people that have uh, been practicing Yogi Bhajan's Kundalini Yoga for 40 years, they're still um, no evidence that they're liberated. The Yogi Bhajan fraudulently said that they'd be liberated after 40 days, you know, doing their yoga. So here's another example of some of the money-making schemes. They, they sell these candy bars, and they use uh, the Sikh Gurbani uh, in selling their candy bars and the images of the uh, Sikh's holiest shrine, the Golden Temple, there in Amritsar. And really shameful how they, how they just commercialize religion, and they commercialize uh, spiritual things. You can see here how they use the image of the um, Sikhs, call it the Hari Mandir Sahib, in Amritsar to sell their, their yogi tea. They make millions of dollars from this. And then they just put it up into their organizations, pay big salaries to these people who are running this um, uh, yogi bhajan organizations. Here's another example of they've used one of the Sikh gurus uh, to sell these products. Always donate, donate, donate. This is an image from SeekNet, one of the Yogi Bhajan organizations. They always want your money. They just evidently raised a quarter of a million dollars for SeekNet this year. These are showing all the organizations, all of these organizations are all tied in. They have, they have a massive billion dollar empire. It consists of this Yogi T, it's a call security that is an Espanola. And this was a recent uh, settlement agreement they had with some of the people they were fighting over all this money where they can't uh, disparage Yogi Bhajan, uh, not, they can't criticize him in other words. And it's all set up to just promote Yogi Bhajan and his cult teachings. You can see here that even now it says here that, that they have to uh, support and advance the practice of the Sikh religion as taught, and the Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan. It's all about Yogi Bhajan. If that is not an indication of a cult, I don't know what is. All about making money. Okay, here's about my book here. And it's called Confessions of an American Sikh. And again, I'm not making any money on this book. I have spent thousands of dollars publishing this book, getting it out there. And it's only 99 cents, the least amount that, that Amazon will let me charge for the book. And so, again, if you want the book for free and you feel like you don't want to pay even the 99 cents, I'll be happy to send it to you as a PDF. Just write me. I just want people to know that Yogi Bhajan was really a fraud and not don't be fooled by these 3HO people who tell you that they are interested in spiritual growth. They're really just interested in your money. Thank you for your time.